Okay, so guys, welcome back to Shamsh Airport, Airport. Okay, so if you have checked my Instagram account, uh, you should know that the Shamsh Airport, Airport is closed for some renovating. But as it's midnight, I should not be out. So I have to stay in my room to film this video. And as Shamsh Airport, Airport is in my room, so I'm going to use this at this uh, reviewing videos of my new items that I added to my uh, list of aviation collections. So, uh, those from the uh, from that side, uh, these are not new. Uh, the triple seven host the free uh, A three forty new again host the free. And also the HG Express A220. A320. I love the A220 very much. I have ordered one. So I think it will arrive in half a year or one year later because I currently have no fund in no fund in buying those models to pay them. So now uh here we got a Turkish airline uh, 787-9 so uh, it's uh, it's a new plane that I brought it home yesterday uh, it's actually a big parcel so I bring it to another place separate the puzzles and I bring the stocks back separately so in, in that parcel, I have uh, three things, the, the Turkish Airlines 787, uh, China, uh, China Southern Airline A330, but that one have a broken gear, so I'm not going to review it, because there's no, uh, no meaning to review a broken aircraft that is, uh, this is a discount aircraft with originally with some faulty things. So today I'm going to review th some free th uh, free things. Turkish Airline seven eight seven. Go and walk around with it, and then the new jet bridge. I mean jetway. It's f quite new, but still not the newest product I get. It's get I think um, a month ago. I didn't review it yet, so probably no one's know. And also these tarmacs, quite new too. I bring them back with the jet jet bridge, like one month before. So now let's start off with the Turkish airline seven eight seven. Okay, so now let's go have a go around have a check on the new seven eight seven dash nine. Okay, so starting from the starting from the left side front, so we can see that the head is quite good in details. The head, so. Mm, quite nice, I think. The gear, for the gear, it's a good one. At least rollable. Good smooth. So, okay, moving on to the logo. I mean, the Turkish airline name here. So, uh, you can clearly see that the ass here is. Uh, Cut it out these pieces. I don't know how to say that I'm bad in English, still improving, but the flag is still nice here. So, cabin windows, very nice. So, cutting off to the wings and the engines. See, the wings for the flaps. 
very nice and the wing the top part of the wing is the left wing is quite nice uh, engine uh, good with everything detailed let's check in the inner engines part so okay we can see that it's uh, okay very nice acceptable at least the color is quite detailed nice model a little bit dust ouch a little bit dust here so never mind so uh, light here okay good so going to the back here so the windows overall Maybe it's too shiny for the back. So, um, oops. So I should put it like this. Okay. So the back here, yeah. the flower. I don't know what flower is this. Nice, nice one. But for the Dreamliner, the word, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it's a little bit blurred, the, uh, the ink is a little bit, uh, I, I can just say not good, I forgot, I don't know what's the word, uh, tail number, regist number, registration number, TZLLB. So, and after that we go to the logo, a tail logo, very nice, good. Okay, after that, we can see the uh, tail wing, I again forgot what its real name is, but uh, you can see that it's, there's a little bit, just a little bit of, mm, Maybe scratches, I don't know, here, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so, heading off to the other side. Okay, off to the other side, the head is good, front. So, going back, Star Alliance logo, nice. Yeah, first door, the windows, this part is still very good. So, in this side, the name, the company name is good quality. The quality is good here. Turkish Airlines, the flag, Turkey flag. Again. Mm. The engine, same, very nice. So, put it off to the wing with the registration number TCLBB, LLLB. Good. So, put it off to the back. Did you change the light? Okay, so now. Headed to the back. The flower here is good. Uh, Boeing 787-9. And then Dreamliner logo. This time it's good. But to the back door, you can see that it's here. You can see that there is some kind of thing. Uh, blue printing, blue ink marked it on it. So there's uh, some issues in there. Not good. Okay. We have all the antennas working nicely. And 
I forgot, is this the radar or something? Is that something? I forgot. So, and then, tail logo. Good. Again. Uh, everything is working nice at the end. Very end. So, definitely no problems. Oh, yes, I forgot. Also, the gears are beneath it. Working very good. You can later see that it taxis very well with the with this kind of rollable gear. This rollable gear is very well. So I think it's the end for the walk round for the plane. Overall uh, I can rate it four out of five four out of five because there is some small pieces of errors the the biggest issue is uh, the other side the company name here here this part is the biggest issue I can immediately fi uh, figure this out when I receive the plain but overall every, everything is good I rate it 4 out of 5 so yeah that is for the plane so now moving on to the new jetway okay so now for the jet bridge uh, this one is quite a nice one which you can eventually uh, stretch it out and in in this part also with uh, HSBC logo here I don't know if you can see but maybe this side you can see it ouch yeah it's dark in my room so it's, uh, I don't know I don't think you can see it maybe I can yeah you, there's the HSBC logo which is, which is quite realistic in many Wait, there is some sponsor like I think also uh, this one function quite normally except this part this part it's the stairs to go up uh, this, I don't think it's working properly because you can see it it's not uh, it cannot connect it nicely with the uh, entrance so uh, maybe this uh, some error with the product I, I have uh, five I think four to five more in my in the back so mm, and I found that every one of them have this for uh, this issue here so I think that uh, because of it's officially it I mean the manufacturer just make it like that maybe not on purpose but yeah it, it they don't think that it's that important but anyway okay so guys uh, last very the last thing uh, is the tarmac I don't know if you can hear outside it's, it is raining but anyway, we will continue with this. It's don't affect me film, filming indoor. So, uh, every sing every single uh, tarmac it have uh, the same uh, number, the taxiway number, or the gate number. I think it's the gate number. So, well, it's mass production, so. Uh, Mm, I can yeah think that no problem but yeah so I think this one is for the corner of the airport like uh, I think this tarmac is uh, for the corner of an airport so you can see that it's not uh, right in the right position 
uh, my camera does not know how to autofocus at least I don't know how to figure it I didn't figure it out how to do it autofocus while filming but anyway so we have very detailed the lines the road crossing for the ground vehicles also when you talk the uh, taxi down this the gate to the gate well the line is straight with some detail that I think that's um, uh, the exhaust or some kind of oil the carrot the fuel for it uh, the listings here nice I have everything like many type of uh, airplane like that I don't know if you can see I mean with this way you can see that wait you can see that there are some uh, AV 10 um, some those quite rare plane passenger plane A300 uh, MT11 DC10 L1 the Tristar L1011 mm. yeah quite a number of plane but here you have some MD90 DC9 737 8 to 20 for the small the, the small planes regional jets or you can say but uh, you cannot say that 737 or 8 to 20 uh, regional jet anymore the rain outside is falling crazy getting getting crazy anyway so uh, there are missing some regional jets like the CRJs and the Embraer ERJ jet A220. These I'm still not listed on here. So I think regional jets will park at other places. So with detailed those, I think the parking space for the ground vehicles, the ground vehicles parking space, uh, with. <laughs> A lot of details that you have so it's a nice one and it's quite cheap I think it's 20 or 30 dollars one pieces good good to go for to decorate your airport so my dealer should have some more so if you want you can contact me and see if I can help you with that and um, it's my pleasure and I'm glad to help you to purchase some models and uh, some tarmac system and uh, accessory for your airport so I think I'm going to end up this now so after uh, to end up this video I'm going to push back this uh, uh, 787 uh, but unfortunately I forgot to bring my push back tuck here so I have to push back by bare hands without uh, good animations or I mean good simulations so anyway we will go ahead